New at 6 today, some South Florida kids got to do something most adults never do, take a ride in a luxury race car. The experience was also a rare chance for them to forget about the medical treatments they have to go through every day. CBS 4's Walter McCullough has more from Hollywood. It's a day they will never forget. One, two, three. Four. Kids with life-threatening medical conditions are given a day to forget about their hospital visits and strolls in wheelchairs and instead ride in the front seat of some of the world's most expensive and fast luxury sports cars. Lamborghini, Ferrari, Mercedes, they are all here. 11-year-old Jermaine Reese Jr. has a kidney disease called Lowe's Syndrome. He chose the white Lambo. It went super fast and, and I was hanging out. It's the fifth annual event founded by Brett David and his sister to give the kids and their families the special experience. The kids are all here because they're fighting different life-threatening diseases from all over the world. So for them to be able to come here and get out of the hospital setting with, of course, request and permission from the doctors to become race car drivers for the day here, look at this. They're surrounded by some of the world's craziest cars. Corvette, McLaren, Audi. Today is a car lover's dream. My favorite car is an SSC Tuatara. It's made by Shelby Motors. Um, I like it because it's so futuri <coughs> futuristic and it's so awesome. 11-year-old Anthony Peskin of Hollywood knows exactly what this group of kids is going through. He's been in remission from leukemia for three years now, but he does have a wish for them. The thing that I want to see next is all the other kids having a ride. So everything you see here, including the track space and the luxury cars, have all been donated. The drivers are all volunteering. So many people here are having such a great time. They're already talking about next year's event. From Hollywood, Walter McCullough, CBS4 News.